San Francisco Bay. The waterfront is a real draw for people looking for some exercise. From walkers to joggers to hardcore marathoners, people like to stretch their limbs. And then there's this guy. Most humans will look at a bird and dream of flying. I myself looked at the ostrich and dreamed of how a human can run faster. My name is Kiahi Seymour. I'm in the inventor and founder of the Bionic Boot. He's geared as the transportation fitness device of the future. Today, he's testing his life's work over rough terrain on the hills of Marin County, high above the Golden Gate Bridge. As I'm running, I feel catapulted into the air, almost like an animal or a superhero. So it's a feeling of the boots is less like a trampoline, more like a catapult. So with each stride, the lever catapults you almost at a 45 degree angle. Quite exhilarating. Kiahi is bent on stretching his limbs and his limits. Initially, the boot was inspired by fast land animals and the way they store elastic energy in their tendons, specifically Achilles tendons. This boot replicates that by use of natural rubber springs here. Uh, and as the boot runs, there's a pivoted lever, which then flexes the tension springs at the back, which store the energy. He modeled them on ostrich legs. The fastest bipedal animal on Earth. I wanted to look at its physiology in terms of its bone and tendon structure, and also in terms of how fast they run. The length of the boot gives you increased stride length. So uh, this stride length will also increase speeds. Uh, for example, the ostrich itself has a stride length of 20 to 25 foot. Mine currently is at 10 to 12 foot. I want to increase that so I can achieve the speed of an ostrich of 45 miles an hour. It's a dream he's chased for almost 20 years. I made the first prototype when I was 18 years old. I had no idea if it would work. All my friends were laughing at the old concept and the, the prototype itself. Back then, I used bungee cord, just wrapped around as a form of spring. Uh, but as I took the first few steps, it was quite exhilarating to feel the power in each stride being snapped. It did break after a few strides, but uh, it was the first step along the, the road to what we see here today. That road was anything but smooth, but he was determined to overcome the bumps one prototype at a time. So what you see here is the evolution of the Bionic Boot, starting with uh, some of the original prototypes. All these steps right here you see are basically to reduce the weight of the boot. Uh, we can see uh, previous versions of the spring itself were using bungee cord and using natural rubber uh, from spear gun tubing. As you see here, it's slightly rudimentary, so uh, just a long stretch of cord wrapped around. This is the 2008 version. You can see here we're almost uh, 15, 17 inches off the ground. Unfortunately, the height of the, the boot also increased the weight itself. In 2014, Kiahi finally came up with the ultimate road-worthy design. This is the current prototype I'm using today, the X14 Bionic boot model, using the same molds, uh, just a little more polished without sacrificing any of that do-it-yourself charm. True inventor fashion, we're out here, we have a mountain bike tire glued to a piece of foam and then attached to a, a piece of aluminum here. Unsurprisingly, Kiahi and his boots create a commotion whenever and wherever he goes. I think it's due to the futuristic, animalistic aspect of it, be it part sci-fi, part robot legs. I think people are very intrigued by the boots. Uh, not all want to, we would like to try them, but that percentage that do want to try them, want to buy them immediately. Even after decades of work, he wants to go further. I see the Bionic boots of just being the start uh, of an exoskeleton, which will increase your power output in terms of adding actuators and increasing, increasing strength or speed. So uh, basically a human can just travel faster. Yahi also dreams of taking his bionic boot to market. He doesn't have a deal yet, but he's got many interested parties, not to mention the worldwide patent. In the meantime, Kiahi keeps running, chasing his boyhood dream while he waits for the world to catch up. The most rewarding aspect about the bionic boot is not only making myself run faster, but also inspiring young children when I go to science fairs, for example, the Maker Fair. And I tell them, you know, I did the first sketch myself when I was 12 years old, and hopefully it'll inspire them to do future scientific endeavors themselves. That's pretty cool.